हाय गाइस वेलकम टू अनदर व्लॉग सो टुडे आई थॉट ट्रैफिक काफी ज्यादा है घर जाते समय सो आई थॉट लेट मी टॉक अबाउट द कार दैट वी हैव बीन यूजिंग फॉर सो मेनी व्लॉग्स सो दिस इज अ स्विफ्ट डिजायर वीडीआई 2012 मॉडल वी हैव डन 1,3025 किलोमीटर्स टिल नाउ द कार हैज बीन रियली गुड इट हैज नेवर गिवन मी ट्रबल इन एनी ऑफ द ट्रिप्स दैट वी हैव डन सो हाउ इज द स्विफ्ट डिजायर So Swift Desire is a good uh, family vehicle. It's got a very decent uh, front support and back support basically. It also is extremely fuel efficient. If you go to YouTube, you can uh, check on as many uh, a lot of for that matter, a lot of reviews on Swift Desire and everything. But today I'm going to talk about the things which I like about this car and I do not like about this car after using it for 5 years and driving it for more than 1 lakh kilometer. First let's talk about the positives. So I've not framed it up or something. I'm just driving as you can see and I'm talking about uh, whatever is coming in my mind. First is the seating position of this car. Make no mistake uh, this is not a very big car, but the front seating position, I mean where the where the driver sits and drives the car, it's very comfortable. The seats are very comfortable. Visibility is absolutely you know what you expect out of a mid size sedan second of all i would like to talk about the gear uh, the gear shifts it's not it's not a no, it's a non automatic it's a manual shift the shifts are to the point and precise uh, no problems with that clutch is light not very light like a few of the petrol cars but uh, fairly light for a diesel fuel efficiency excellent in the city around about 16 and a half 17 the highways maybe 19 or 20 or and has never given me any trouble as far as mileage is concerned third let's talk about the steering wheel the steering wheel is uh, no it, it's pretty light uh, within the city fairly light and as it picks up pace you can still feel the connect to the road so it's not that a uh, few of the new maruti cars have this uh, steering wheel where it doesn't connect to the road you can't get a feel altogether this car gives you a pretty decent feel high speed stability is absolutely good i have driven i drive this car at 140 without any problem 140 150 no issues whatsoever Uh, once I've done 170 as well without any problems. Cornering, well, I've got different tires, but these two and new tires. My mine is 185 uh, 65 R14s. With these new tires, uh, huge Yokohama Earth right now. Uh, with these tires, I had no problems whatsoever. As far as the engine is concerned, now it's a it's a 10 year old engine. Let's face it, uh, it's a Fiat Fiat Multijet. Uh, D, they call it DDIS. It's basically Fiat Multijet. a uh, 1.3 liter 75 bhp 20 nm of torque approximately um there's a bit of there's a sorry, there's a turbo lag uh, before uh, round about till round about 15 1700 rpm after round about 1800 rpm the turbo kicks in and there is no problem so when in the city of course you've got to get to you get used to it and the highways it's absolute delight power band is between 2 and 4000 but if you keep it between 2000 rpm and 3 and a half thousand rpm will feel uh, fairly comfortable again that means you have to keep on shifting your gears right so yeah that's that's there but one thing i would like to talk about is that you know this car when i got it that time it was the engine was very noisy but you know i keep on changing my engine oil regular basis which you know around about every 7000 kilometers i change my engine oil 6 and a half 7000 and uh, it just becomes smoother than what it was earlier very smooth uh, i i like it actually Uh, I used to hate it too when it was at the start, but over a period of time, after driving it for one lakh kilometer, uh, it's been uh, it's been pretty decent. Um, now let's talk about the things that I do not like for this car. Number one, back seat space, horrible, absolutely horrible. Boot too small. I mean, like it's good enough for maybe a couple of. Even though we have done Ladakh in in this car, but um, boot space is not up to the up to standard. if you are going off road you know the cabin the the road noise basically not off road even on bad roads the cabin noise cabin noise basically comes in into the cabin i'm sorry the road noise basically comes into the cabin the seat service has been good but you know there is one thing i was surprised and i had to spend uh, around about 25000 on it there's there's something called the electronic control module ecm why ecm gave up us i was driving and suddenly there was a engine malfunction light that was coming up and i came to know that the there's some particular 
sensor in ECM which was not working and I had to change the ECM after 84,000 kilometers, 80 or 1000 kilometers just before the Ladakh trip. Um, I don't expect that from a car like a uh, car from Maruti, uh, you know, world who's known for reliability. That was one problem, even though the car was not stopping or something, but I was facing a bit of a jerk as far as power is concerned. Power delivery was not on that one. So they changed that, I tried to spend around about 23,000 on that. There's a bit of a body roll, even though I said that the cornering is pretty decent uh, when you do at high speed cornering, but there's a bit of a body roll. And the tyres that a VDI comes in, even now for that matter, those are like no tyres, 165 section tyres. Maruti, are you kidding me? On a, on a car which has got 20 mm of torque, absolutely atrocious. Uh, this car doesn't come with ABS or EBD, the new one does come with ABS and EBD standard of cross wall variants. So that's another negative which I do not like about this car. So, you know, basic things like ABS and EBD would have, should have been provided that time also. But I don't complain, it has been sorted out right now. Headlights. I don't think headlights uh, that are good enough. Uh, at least the ones that they, the stock ones are not good enough. You have to change it for sure and you know get some aftermarket ones. The headlights that they come in from the out from the showroom is not good enough. Uh, music system is decent enough, not that great, not that bad. But having said that, I must tell you one more thing: the remote that they, it came up with, it gave up within a couple of years, two or three years, I believe I managed to use it. I still have it lying somewhere in the car, but it just gave up. It stopped working. And mind you, it was not that the battery has died, it stopped working altogether. The key quality, the quality of the key that you get to drive the car, my first key actually just came apart. I mean, I did not break it up, mind you. I was just using it normally and the key just kept apart, I mean, just broke apart. I don't know how it happened, but that's the quality of plastic quality that they use. The plastic quality within the cabin and all the stuff, uh, within the cabin, the dashboard and you know other places, it's just good enough but uh, you know it's not up to the standard of a, you can say a Volkswagen Amio or something of that sort, uh, even for that matter Ford Figo Aspire, it's not up to that standard, uh, at least in this car that I have. Another small uh, problem that I faced uh, in this car is that you know there's a there is a, there's a something called a caliber pin okay the caliber pin is basically a pin that attaches it's in the suspension somewhere that caliber pin used to come off I mean it, it used to um, stop uh, there's some problem with the caliber pin and used to it's a it's not a very expensive thing but you have to keep on changing the caliber pin on a regular basis otherwise there was the, there would be a noise the moment you try and apply the brakes and uh, there would be a noise when you try and apply the you know the, the, when you're going through a bad road the cut 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 sound that's a, that's a bad thing but one thing I have to talk about is that I'm really disappointed about is the Maruti service station. Now a lot of people will be saying that you know Maruti service is one of the best service, this thing and that thing. But trust me, guys, they try to fool you a lot. If you do not know about the car, they will try and fool you and try to extract thing and extract more money out of it. Just to give you an example, they'll do alignment and balancing irrespective of before you know if your car is already aligned or balanced without doing a wheel uh, without driving the car, they will first recommend alignment and balancing karni hai. and how much will they charge? Well, if the outside shops are charging you thousand bucks, they're going to charge you two thousand bucks for that. Second, they will say, you know, I had a couple of instances where they said that you have to change the brake brake pad. When I got got into it, I figured out that my brake pads were absolutely fine. The brake shoes, uh, the disc brake shoes and brake pads basically, they were absolutely fine. They tried to fool me by giving, showing some other cars you know, worn out uh, brake pads saying that this was your car. So, and I get it done from uh, Fort Point over here in Andheri. So, this is something I did not like. Andheri is in Bombay for them, just for people who do not know. So these kind of problems I had faced when I was in Delhi also, these kind of problems I face even now also. So this is absolutely not called for. Restall, it's been a great car altogether. I am not giving you a exterior or an interior, you know, roundabout. You can find thousands of uh, videos on YouTube on how a 2012 uh, Maruti Swift Desire looks like. I am just sharing my experience with this car. So anybody trying, planning to buy a Maruti car or a Maruti, and the new car by the way, has got the same engine specifications. There are some changes in the chassis, there are some changes in the uh, you know exterior of the car, but basically the engine and the gearbox is more or less the same. Unless you are going for the AMT man, uh, AMT. So this car is very easy to own, cheap to maintain, it's extremely reliable, 
the new cars come with two airbags and ABS standard and plus EVD standard across all. So and and the back space has also been improved. I'm talking about the rear uh, boot space as well as the back space. So the new car is very good. Uh, anybody looking to buy the buy a Maruti car, of course, can look at buying the Swift Desire. It's a very reliable car. My experience has been good, but of course, you know, there always nothing is perfect. So even this car is not perfect. Having said that, I think uh, you know I've done one lakh kilometers in this car. I would uh, like to change this car maybe in a year or maybe a couple of years max. Would I be buying another Maruti car? I do not know. Do I have anything against Maruti? I do not know. Has my experience been good with Maruti so far? If I look at, I've been driving Maruti for the past fifteen years now. Fifteen years, no, maybe slightly more than that. Cross, Alto, Swift, now Swift Desire. Uh, as well as Maruti 800, so uh, overall experience has been good. So yes, that's my um, experience with this car. I just thought of sharing this with everybody because a um, lot of people, you know, are confused how good or how bad the car is. So it's just my experience, one lakh kilometer uh, experience with Maruti Swift Desire. So on this note, I would like to close this vlog. Stay blessed, drive safe. and stay subscribed with story with sogata because a lot of new videos coming up guys keep watching